Hi. Let's learn about the Federal Housing Administration, FHA. The Federal Housing Administration is a U.S. agency that provides mortgage insurance to FHA-approved lenders. It was established in 1934 and became part of the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, in 1965. The agency funds its operations with income generated through mortgage insurance premiums, MIPs. FHA loans allow lower down payment minimums and lower credit scores than traditional lenders, making homeownership more accessible. The FHA is one of the world's largest mortgage insurers, protecting FHA-approved lenders from losses in the event of borrower defaults. It was created to help stimulate the U.S. housing market by providing insurance to lenders. FHA insures mortgage loans in the United States and U.S. territories, allowing for lower minimum down payments and loans to people with lower credit scores. The agency collects mortgage insurance premiums for its self-generated income. The FHA requires borrowers to pay two types of MIPs. The payment amounts differ depending on the loan amount, length, and original loan-to-value ratio. After the subprime mortgage crisis, the FHA implemented a rule that the annual MIP remains over the life of the loan. This change has led most borrowers to refinance through a traditional mortgage once they hit 80% LTV. It's important to note that the FHA's early policies, such as redlining, perpetuated racial inequalities in home ownership and wealth building for generations to come. The FHA was created in 1934 to stimulate the housing market and increase home ownership during the Great Depression. The agency's primary purpose was to improve housing standards and reduce foreclosures on family home mortgages. However, it also implemented policies like redlining, which prevented millions of black Americans from accessing cheap home ownership and building generational wealth. The FHA has faced criticism for its strict requirements, such as upfront and annual MIPs. Critics argue that homeowners may save money in the long run through private mortgage insurance premiums provided by conventional lenders. Additionally, historical FHA policies, like redlining, have greatly contributed to racial wealth inequalities that persist today. Here are five key takeaways. 1. The Federal Housing Administration, FHA, offers mortgage insurance to approved lenders. 2. The agency was established in 1934 and became part of the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, in 1965. 3. The FHA Home Loan Program is designed for borrowers who can't make large down payments, have lower credit scores, and don't qualify for conventional mortgages. 4. Borrowers with FHA loans must purchase FHA mortgage insurance. 5. Mortgage insurance premiums, MIPs, collected from FHA insured loans help pay for the program. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.